Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. You can set up inventory part items within the item list to create items for which you want to track the quantity and value in QuickBooks. You cannot show inventory value for a manufacturing company or where the inventory value is changed as it goes through a process as that is simply too complex for QuickBooks to compute. However, if you have items that you purchase from a vendor, hold as inventory, and then resell to customers, you can set up those items as inventory parts for ease of tracking in QuickBooks. To create a new inventory part within QuickBooks, click the item button in the lower left corner of the item list window, and then select the new command from the pop-up menu to open the new item window. Select Inventory Part from the Type drop-down at the top of the window within the list when it appears automatically as you open the window. Then enter the part name or number for the inventory item into the Item Name or Number field. Now if the item that you are creating is a sub-item of another larger item category, then you can check the sub-item of checkbox and then select the main item for which this item will be a sub-item from the adjacent drop-down menu. Note that when you are creating sub-items, the sub-item must be of the exact same type as its parent item and that you must create the main item first before creating the sub-items. Next you can enter the manufacturer's part number, if used, into the manufacturer's part item field. Next, in the Purchase Information section, enter the description that you want to have appear within your purchase forms within the Description on Purchase Transactions field. You can then enter the default purchase cost of the item into the Cost field. This amount, if entered, will appear by default whenever you select this item within your purchase forms, but you can always change it at that time if needed. Next, select the Cost of Goods Sold account used to track the cost of purchasing this item from the Cost of Goods Sold account dropdown. If you have a preferred vendor for this item, you can select the name of that vendor from the Preferred Vendor drop-down field. Now, if this item is the first item selected within a purchase form, the Preferred Vendor's information will automatically be filled in within the form. Next, in the Sales Information section, enter the description of the item as you want it to appear within your sales forms in the Description on Sales Transactions field. You can then enter the default sales price into the sales price field. This amount will be the default amount displayed within your sales forms when this item is selected. Once again, you can always change it at that time if needed. You can then select the default tax code used for the item and then select the income account that this item generates income for from the income account drop-down. Next in the inventory information section, select the asset account used to track the value of the inventory within the company file from the asset account drop-down. Then enter the quantity at which you want to reorder this item by entering that value into the reorder point field. Now, if you are creating an inventory item for inventory that you possessed as of the start date of your company file, you can enter the total quantity on hand as of the start date into the on hand field. Then enter the total value of that quantity on hand into the total value field, and then select the start date of your company file from the as of field. Once you have finished creating the inventory part item, click the OK button to save the item. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.